Alright, so here's another another example on the same topic, evaluating an exponential function that models a real world situation. Okay. So just go over the question. I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to go over the question. Okay. Alright, so basically X is the time, right, number of minutes after the can was placed in the cooler okay and t is basically this right there this, this formula will let us find the temperature of the can after x minutes um, in the cooler okay so x is the time and the the whole formula is for temperature okay so we need to find the initial temperature and the temperature after 20 minutes. Okay, initial temperature and temperature after 20 minutes. Okay, so when we're trying to find the initial temperature, x, which is the time, which means x is equal to zero, right? So put t equal zero and substitute this x right there with zero. Okay, substitute the x with 0. So we have this. Type this in your calculator and you'll get this answer. Okay. Alright, so that's the initial temperature. We got this. Okay, we got this one. Okay, so now let's find the temperature after 20 minutes. After 20 minutes. So now x is equal to 20 and we have to we, we have to compute t is equal to 20. Now t when x is equal to 20. So we're going to replace all the x with 20. So negative 22 plus this. Make sure you punch in the negative number, okay? If you leave the if you leave if you leave it out, your answer will not be correct. Okay? So type this in your calculator and you should be getting and round it up and you'll get negative 22 degrees Celsius. So yeah um pretty straightforward it's a little bit different from the previous example but you just have to make sure that what's x what's t what's the formula for just be careful with it you should be you should be you guys should be able to do this question with no difficulties okay all right good luck